if I know if the triamid in the hand or a sphinx in the hand. What? Curse of Anubis? What's up guys, it's your boy Kazaris. Over here, I'm on the right now. Uh, I moved from the left because it was blocking the card text of the effects and I just, the only reason I had it over there was because that's where I started. Um, but I, I'm moving over now, so I'm on the right over here. Uh, and today we have a fun little deck profile, uh, Ninja Infernity. Now you may be saying to yourself, what? Well, um, Ninja Grandmaster Hanzo is really cool because when you pair it with Yellow Dragon Ninja, it becomes a one card way to deal with a monster and two back row. Well, Hanzo will search the Ninjutsu Art of Super Transformation on summon. You'll set this. Now when your opponent summons a level four or higher monster, um, unfortunately it has to be level four or higher because Ninjutsu Art of Super Transformation has to send equal or higher levels of the monster you're trying to summon. So Hanzo is level four. We're trying to summon Yellow Dragon Ninja. This is level eight. So we need to send our opponent's level four or higher monster to the graveyard. We'll summon the Yellow Dragon Ninja. And now Yellow Dragon Ninja when it's summoned, or not when it's summoned, um, but it's a quick effect while it's on the field, you can send a ninja monster you control and a ninjutsu art mo car, uh, face up ninjutsu art card you control to the graveyard to target up to two spell trackers on the field and destroy them. So your, if your opponent summons a monster, sets two, passes turn, you go Hanzo, send, or you go uh, trap card, send their monster and your Hanzo, summon the yellow dragon, yellow dragon send itself and the ninjutsu art pop their back row. And now you just discard two cards and proceed with your Infernity combo uninterrupted. So that's absolutely nuts. Um, so we have Hanzo to clear back row, Trunade to clear back row, MSD to clear back row, Book of Moon to deal with the monsters. Uh, very cool overall, honestly. Uh, if you don't resolve the combo of like, if you have Hanzo and they don't like summon anything and they just like set passively, um, you can just like make Diamond Dire Wolf after like with the Archfiend, try and force a back row and then like you have Launcher to bring back the Archfiend. Um, otherwise, like, you still have Trinade and MST to deal with back row. So, even if you have the Hanzo, you have the Diamond Dire Wolf to clear it before you go in. Uh, but other than that, you have just the Coral Dragon. Stardust Charge, Bryonek, and Onomaru plays as well, as well as Hama and White Aura Dolphin. Like, ye these won't come up. On only these come up. Um, and if you're not playing the Hanzo, the Diamond Dire Wolf doesn't come up at all. But, uh, honestly, after playing a few games of this, I think this is how I'm going to play the deck going forward, just because the Hanzo into White Dra or Yellow Dragon play is so nuts. It's just so good. Just resolving it, you just feel untouchable because you just one card Hanzo, deal with three cards, and then proceed. It's just crazy. Um, like when I saw it on paper first, like I was like, ew, my gut reaction was like, ew, what? That's gross. And then I thought about it for a second. I was like, wait, that's actually pretty good. And then I tested it. And I'm just uh, hopefully we get some games showing it off today. So, um, that's the list. Uh, I won the first TCG local I went to in over a year on Saturday. So I got some good footage from that. Um, felt good to win. It was pre ban list. The new TCG ban list just came out for those who don't know. Um, so I was playing Drytron. Um, I finally got, the, I was struggling to get the large video files off my phone because I have a windows PC and an uh, Apple iPhone. So like there's always that weird disconnect and it wasn't allowing me to import for some reason. Um, but I was able to export them to Google Drive. It just took a little bit just because they were so big. So I finally got them off. I'm going to be editing it today and tomorrow. Um, it might take a little bit, but expect them up within the week. Expect the, expect the video up within the week. So look out for that. Other than that, like, comment, subscribe, grab your coffees, sit back and relax. And we're just going to jump right in. So stick around. All right. We are against a Jaden Yuki. Game on. Get your game on. We're going first. He's on a rank up. Let's get him. Oh, there it is. There's the, just the Hanzo. No other brick with it. We're going to search the ninjutsu art of super transformation. Uh, I'm going to not use, set anything else. I'm going to leave it on the field. This is a little weak cyclone, I guess, unfortunately. I'm going to summon the alias. Sure. Let's wait for him to set some back row. Set two. Battle phase, gorgeous. Does he have the mass change in his hand still? We'll find out. Please don't. Set uh, target. Oh no, he has the mass change in it. Okay, well, we still have the Trunade and the launcher, so it's not the end of the world. If 
force out the mass change here. I, it's still sent to grave, and I have no other target in the deck, unfortunately. So I'll take 25 to the face. Does he have two mass change? Okay, good. Oof. That would have sucked. Um, draw another launcher. Unfortunately, we have to discard a launcher, but not the end of the world. Activate Hate Trunade here. I'm going to activate Inferno Inferno. Discard one of the launchers. Kind of hurts a bit, but we have to. Discard or er, send the beetle and the archfiend to the graveyard and resolve our combo for game. Cool. Summon two. Um, we are going to activate Coral Dragon here to pop the Koga. That way he can't uh, Koga activate target our Onomaru. I'm going to add a Mirage to our hand because we have not um, discarded yet. We don't have to summon Mirage first. It doesn't really matter there. Uh, we could just make Coral Dragon first and then summon Mirage, but it doesn't matter. Either order in this case is fine. Summon the Coral Dragon. Activate the Mirage. Summon back these two. Make Stardust Charge. Draw a card. Discard it. Put it for Coral Dragon. Activate Archfiend. Yep. There it is. Just gonna scoop it up there. Cool. Nice swift win. Let's do another. All right, we are against the Yami Yugi. But well, first, we're on a rank up. Nice. Cool. Cool. Love to see it. Uh, our hand is fine. Our hand is fine. Uh, we set to protective back row. Um, we have a true nade. Yeah. So it's like if he sets several back row, I'm not going to MS. Okay, he sets no back row. Okay. So I'm going to do off a turn. There is an Infernity Barrier. So instead of having to discard Barrier Trunade, I'm going to activate Trunade. That way we can discard Book of Moon Mystical Space Typhoon. Right? Yeah. Because I'd rather have um, Barrier in the back row there. Discard two. Send two. Set Barrier. Summon Mirage. Activate Mirage. Proceed to win phase. As long as we get to turn two, we resolve the combo. But we have to try and do it through back row sometimes. I summon the Archfiend and the Beetle. Activate the Archfiend. Search a launcher. Make a Stardust Charge. We are going to draw because we can just discard it with the Coral Dragon. Um, or if we draw a good back row, we can just keep it. So that's cool. Stardust Charge, draw. Uh, we are just going to discard that with Coral Dragon. Get out of here. Yellow Martin. Ah, so he is playing. Okay, so there's at least like one Temperance or Karibo there. There could be a Battle and Boxer Veil as well. Yeah, there could be a Veil as well. Okay, so we're going to attack with Odomaru first. And then we're going to attack with Archfiend. And then we're going to attack with Brian Eck in that order specifically. Because if it is, if he has a Veil, Karibo, uh, we are going to draw with the Coral Dragon here. Oh, no, that was a mistake. Well, didn't matter. Cool. All right. Well, I was I was too busy thinking about what he had in his hand, not thinking about my own plays. Um, so we shouldn't have drawn with Coral Dragon there for that obvious reason. Um, if it wasn't a back row, we had no way to get rid of it. Uh, we drew with we drew with Charge because whatever we drew, we could discard it with Coral Dragon to pop. But we shouldn't have drawn with Coral Dragon. So if we draw the Hanzo or any card that we can't get rid of in our hand, as you saw right there. Then we can't resolve our launcher and we can't resolve the rest of our combo, but it didn't matter. Um, what I was saying is we attack with Onomaru first because if he does have Veil Temperance, he has to Temperance first to prevent the Onomaru because he can't take the Onomaru hit and then Veil because then he just loses because it's 6,000 direct. Uh, then we attack with Archfiend, and if he has the Veil, we don't trigger D draw. Uh, he'll summon the Veil and then we'll just beat over it with Brian X. So he doesn't get to keep a monster on the field, doesn't trigger D draw. And we get rid of both hand traps in the effectively. So, very cool. Um, but he... We messed up, but thankfully he didn't have any hand traps. So, we'll take the win. Uh, let's do another. All right, we're against the Joey Wheeler. A use. We're going first. Activating Grit. Interesting. But we have the Hanzo. This deck can kill through Grit like nobody's business. So, I'm not worried about that. Um, 
I'm gonna hold MST. But I don't I don't need it. Like if he sets three back row, we send a monster, pop two of the back row, and then on our turn we pop the third back row with MST, so. It's fine. I'm not worried. Aroma Garden. Oh, nice. Oh yes. Alright, this is gorgeous. So he's gonna summon a monster. There's the Jasmine. Awesome. Rosemary. I don't care, that's fine. Yup, switch my defense. Cool. Set another one. Roma Garden. Gain 500, sure. Set another back row. It's just gonna go to battle phase. Alright, well, this works. Send. Send. Special. Wait for end phase. End phase. Activate ninja. Send itself. Oh, I have... No, I'm alright. So keep the Hanzo in the hand. Send these two pop. Because we want to get the yellow dragon off of the field. Pop both of them. Draw for turn. And proceed to win phase. Uh, activate our skull. We are going to discard the Hanzo still. Even if even if we only need to discard the beetle, we are still just going to discard the Hanzo to get it, off the, get it out of our hand. Uh, summon a Mirage. Activate... What is in his hand? Why is there like a slight delay? What is going on? Oh, is it DD Crow? Is it DD Crow in a row mage? Dog, what? Why would he have that? That's cool. Um, DD Crowing the Archfiend is the correct target for him here. Just, just a heads up. If you get rid of Archfiend, I can't search anymore. Sure, I can summon Beetle once, but that's, that's about it. What is the delay? I am so confused. So it's not like if it's a battle hand trap, there's no delay here until the battle phase. So I just I don't know what it is. You're not going to draw off a of Stardust Charge because we have nothing to discard. No draw with Coral Dragon either because I don't want to recreate what I just did in the last game. Not making that mistake again. No. And activate launcher. And proceed to win, right? Right. Summon these two. What is the delay? I want to know. We're gonna, we're gonna check his deck after. So I have no idea what it could be. Oh wait, is it like don't they have Is it Jasmine? No, not Jasmine. Aroma Seraphi Angelica. Yeah, it's, it's a quick effect to target an aroma in the grave to gain life, I think. I, it shouldn't matter. That's what it is. Yeah, okay. So we're going to... So I'll be able to gain 1,800 to put him to 73. Uh, Onimara will deal 6,000. I'll attack with either one of my other two monsters to put him below the grit threshold. And then I'll attack past the grit threshold for game. So all three of these attacks will be gained no matter how many life points he has. Um... Summon the Archfiend. Search the launcher. An attack with Onomaru. He's going to activate Angelica. I am good. I am good at this game, dude. 6,000. 18. Activate Grit. 23 for game. Nice. Damn. What a game. Awesome. Uh, let's do one more. So we resolved the Hanzo combo once. We almost resolved it twice. I want to resolve it one, one more game. So let's do one more try and resolve the Hanzo combo. And then uh, we'll call it a video. All right. We are up against Nikiza Azinski. Probably balance. Maybe level two. Or what grows in the graveyard. I don't know. If they're still playing it. Nope. Balance. Like I thought. So try mids. Hand is not very good. We open the brick. That's a Sphinx in his hand. That sucks. That sucks. He has Sphinx in his hand. We open Busted. So we're going to be discarding Yellow Dragon and Archfiend on the following turn. Send Beetle and another Mirage. Because we have to get this out of our hand. And we have to get this out of our hand. So, um, Or I could just summon Archfiend push for some damage. Uh, no. No, I, I want to hold it. I'm not going to set the, Ar the launcher either. I don't want him to pop it with Master. So he's going to pass turn. Probably has a Pulse, a Tretch, a King Golem, a Sphinx in hand, drawing for turn. If he draws anything other than a monster, nope, he drew Hunter, okay. 
So I'm not going to book a moon this because I know um, he doesn't have a monster. Uh, well, actually, maybe I should have. So I don't want to take this damage here, do I? Yeah, I'm going to book a moon this here because A, if it goes back to my turn and he can hunt or send King Golem, he gets the Sphinx onto the field. Um, this way he doesn't get to send anything. I don't take any damage, but I, I know it was the Sphinx in his hand because Triamid, Triamid will never not summon a monster. Because they, if he activates balance, he opens a monster. If he doesn't summon a monster, I know he still has a monster in his hand, so why wouldn't he summon it? Therefore, it's Sphinx. So that's the logic there. We are going to play around the Sphinx. We are not going to um, destroy the King Golem if we can prevent it. Um, I am... I know he has Pulse. Uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, so if I, if I think it's Pulse Tretch, I hit the Pulse. If I miss and hit Tretch, awesome. If I hit Pulse, Tretch is still off. So now uh, I think the Tretch is off. Uh, Tretch isn't honestly very good against this deck either. So there's still a delay, so it might be double Pulse. In which case, I'm fine. Because he, he can only Tretch me on the Coral and the Starter's Charge. Um, in which case, I can still just make a Brian Act and bounce something. So like, but if he Tretches me here, it doesn't matter. Because all he's doing is preventing... He's pretty much just stopping one launcher effect, essentially. It's as if he said MST on launcher. Because uh, now I just... Or it's even worse than that, honestly. Because I just have the follow-up launcher. Um... And then I just, I lose a launcher basically because I can't make a synchro and I still have to commit two launchers to get to my own Amaro play. So it's like, I don't know. I mean, Tretch is, you have to hit the Tretch on the Coral Dragon and the Starter's Charge against this, on, against this deck. Um, at which point they can just like Coral Dragon try and pop. Um, uh, can they? I don't know. Because like you can't, if you Tretch afterwards i'm just trying to think out loud like what the best point would be because i don't think i've really had the opportunity to, to tretch a infernity deck because when infernity was good tretch wasn't very popular or good when infernity quote was quote unquote good when it first came out tretch wasn't very popular um but now yeah i think you would tretch like tretching on the coral dragon and the starter's charge makes the most sense um sure i still have one launcher to resolve but i don't get to <clears throat> i don't get to own tomorrow which is the main point um, so we're just going to go Starter's Charge, we're going to Activate Charge, we're going to Pop Um We're going to destroy the Face Down Triamid Hunter Because this will not trigger Sphinx because it's been Face Down Sphinx can only summon itself if a Face Up Triamid is destroyed Got it Um, I'm like, I am Physically trying to say Triamid instead of Triamid because I've said Triamid for so long. I know it's Triamid. I know I've been saying it incorrectly. So Triamid. Uh, we are not going to draw with Coral here because we do not want to draw another Grandmaster Hanzo. Um, no. Activate Launcher. So I know this is like... Could be Canadia, I guess. In which case I still kill him because Brianek and Archfiend is game. Um, so in these two... I could even go for like Scrap Dragon, but there's no point in that really. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go for the Brian for the Brian Ack and the Archfiend. We're gonna add the barrier to our hand. Um, we are not going to search for this Archfiend. Um, I just want to get it on the field to have a to be able to use the barrier and to have lethal on the field if Unamonger gets stopped. Um, we are not going to search with Archfiend because we the only target left in our deck is Mirage. We can't do anything with the Mirage, and it would just turn off the barrier. Uh, actually, I guess we could just Brianek bounce the back row, force it now. Yeah, why not? I mean, I know the back row isn't like anything to stop us, because it's not Tretch, because he can't Tretch since he already has a trap in the grave, so it's either another Pulse, in which case it's still useless. If it's a Canadia, he can't stop game anyway, so like, I'm, I, I might as well just add, see what it is, see if it forces anything out. Add the Mirage to our hand. Activate the Brianek. Could even bounce the King Golem if I wanted, but it doesn't matter. So I know it's a Triamid in the hand, or a Sphinx in the hand. What? Curse of Anubis? Clickbait title This free to play card destroyed me. Well, he gets another turn. 
Oh my god, he draws king. Well, he can't win. Yeah, he can't win. Doesn't matter. Okay. He has to kill the Onomaru. I Bryanak bounce. Okay. <laughs> beat, he kills the Bryanak. I Onomaru beat over. Yeah, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what he does. Okay, well. That was a little bit scarier than it had to be. But we get in there in the end. And I knew it was a Sphinx. And I did not know the back row. So, I mean. Coming in clutch at the end. Uh, let's do one more. Let's end on a... Uh, I want to get one more Hanzo play going on. Show that off one more time. Because it is Ninja Infernity video. So I want to show off the combo at least. And not just show how I discard the bricks. Alright. We're going to in a Shizu Ishtar. We're going first. Give me the Hanzo. Give me the Hanzo. Give me that Hanzo. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Hanzo. 50% chance to open it. I'm going to add the ninjutsu art of super transformation. Very cool art. Hanjo in the front. Uh, nin Karakuri merchant, I believe, as well. It's kind of funny. Uh, and then Dark Horse in the back. Pretty cool. This will summon a dragon, dinosaur, or sea serpent. Uh, yellow dragon ninja is a dinosaur for whatever reason. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, so like all of the weird nin like ninja grandmasters are like, just strange types. Like white dragon ninja is a sea serpent, I think, or no, blue dragon ninja is a sea serpent. I don't know. They got some weird types, man. There's red dragon, yellow dragon, blue dragon, white dragon. Is there a green dragon ninja? I don't even know. Black dragon ninja is the. Isn't that a beast, or is it an insect? One of them's an insect. It's very weird. Uh, so he's going to activate Necro Valley. Oh no, we have nothing to send. Oh, so we got to play this slowly. Draw. Uh, we got to discard a launcher too. Man, this is this game's getting a little rough. All right, so we're going to discard two to send two. Um, okay, so we're going to attack into this. Okay, now um, he gets to spy, summon. Right, so he spies, summons descendant. Or spiritualist. Okay, now we activate the super art. Send the Hanzo. Send the spiritualist. We get to summon the ninja from our deck. To beat over the spy. Now he goes past turn. On his turn, if he sets any back row, we get the yellow dragon ninja. Pop the back row in the Necro Valley. And then proceed with our combos on the following turn. So, this is a slightly different game. We resolved our skill, but we don't get to kill him this turn. But we are still in a very good position. Like, how is this a dinosaur? Like, how? Like, is it just, like, referring to, like, the spirit thing or like the whatever thing they mastered I guess I don't know so he's gonna activate Necro Valley Throne add something else if you add spiritualist or what, is that what it is spiritualist yes I always mix up spiritualist and supernaturalist um, if he adds that we just book a moon it and then he can't fuse and then if he passes turn we pop Necro Valley if he sets one passes turn we pop both I think we win this no matter what because of the because of the ninja stuff coming in clutch Way to deal with Necro Valley outside of MST. Going to add the Spiritualist, but he's just going to set one. Interesting. He's going to rely on the Necro Valley, but I guess he doesn't know what Ni Yellow Dragon Ninja does. Send these two, pop Necro Valley. Don't target another card. Draw for turn, and that is the ball game. Cool. Uh, I guess I'll just set the Trunade. Activate the launcher. And proceed to win phase. Summon these two. Do not draw with Coral either for the same reason. If we draw Hanzo, we cannot continue our plays. Uh, activate the Launcher. Launcher effect. Summon these two. Uh, Archfiend's just going to grab... Um, uh, what is it? Uh, Mirage. And then we're just going to discard it with the Bryanak. Um, because we, we had to discard a Launcher, so we only get to resolve two Launchers this turn. Um, if we had one extra launcher, we could have searched it with that Archfiend and then ended on an Archfiend to search Barrier. But we do not get to do that, so we just have to try and kill him. Hopefully he doesn't have a hand trap. Bounce that back, or bounce that monster. It might be another spy, it might be the Spiritualist he searched, I don't know. But I'm just going to attack him for game. And that's going to do it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know I did. The deck is way more fun than I thought it would be, especially when you get the Resolve Hanzo like that. That's just, it just feels so crazy. It just feels so good. Um... Yeah, I like the deck a lot. And again, uh, I'm working on the TCG content, editing it. Uh, it's going to take a little bit longer because it's because like my formula with Duel Links is like I do the intro, 
I, I, I do the deck list profile, I record the games, and then I just cut the games. But with the TCG content, I have to like, I have to cut them, I have to speed them up, I have to do post commentary, and I have to do post editing. So it's like the post commentary and the post editing is going to take a little bit longer. So hopefully have that up in the next few days here, but uh, it should be fun. It should be fun. So um, the tripod I used is a little bit short. Uh, I didn't have anything to prop it up with. So like the angle that you're looking at is a little bit like narrow, I guess. Um, but there's no, there isn't much, there isn't any glare at all, I don't think. So it should be like viewable, but it's just like a little bit low. So uh, I'll work on that in the future though, but um, it's still watchable and it's still understandable. So uh, just look forward to that. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, enjoy your coffee and the rest of your day. Peace.